I'm John Park, and today we're talking VCRs. These things changed the way we watch television, gave us movie rentals and late fees. If you're like me, you probably don't use yours much anymore. But don't throw it out, whatever you do. These things are full of all kinds of motors, gears, sensors, and a sophisticated timer that you can use for your own projects, all for the taking and the making. Check this out. This is a project I built. It's an alarm clock made from a VCR. I pulled the motor out, set it on top here, and I built a little rig with a chain, rubber band, and some heat shrink tubing. This is gonna whack the heck out of this bell that I mounted on top. And best of all, I've mounted a kill switch inside of a gutted out VCR remote. Watch this. Okay, that's a fun project, but today we're gonna deal with something far more serious. How to feed my cat when I'm away for the weekend. That's right, a VCR powered cat feeder. Let's take one apart and see how it works. Okay, first thing is safety. I wanna protect myself from the high voltage area. I'm gonna use this mouse pad, just set it in here where the power line comes in. Okay, I can see the tape is running across these capstan rollers and to this drum head motor. This is the part that I'm gonna pull out for the project because it can still operate while it's outside of the VCR. Now, if you don't have an old VCR lying around, it's okay, you can pick one up cheap at a thrift store or a yard sale. The original VCR cat feeder was designed by James Larson. He used an old VCR with the motor connected to a gear box. This drove a meat grinder and it conveyed the food into the kitty bowl below. Now, I've found these new VCRs are a little too smart for their own good. They're packed with sensors that will detect any speed change in this motor and that'll stop things from running. So, we're gonna have to modify Larson's design. This motor is gonna be perfect for our project. It was easy to remove, and it's got a nice long ribbon cable so I can keep it plugged into the VCR when I've mounted it on the top. To mount it, I grabbed a bracket from another VCR. This is gonna give me a nice sturdy base to set this on. Now the question is, how can I get this sensitive little high speed motor to drive a cat feeder? If anything gets in the way of this thing's speed, it can shut down the whole system. The answer is a pulley. Just like gearing down a bicycle when you go uphill, this is gonna reduce the angular velocity of my motor and increase the torque. So over here, I've got a frame made out of plywood. It's been given a nice coat of paint for looks and I drilled a hole through it so that we could mount a bolt as the axle. This has some nice bearings in it so we shouldn't have too much friction. Down here, you can see I've got my motor attached to its mounting base and then an uh, old aluminum ruler is being used as a bracket to get just the precise angle that I need. As a belt, I've got some of this stretch magic cord. It's just looped around here and tied in a knot with a decent amount of tension on it. Tie your stretchy cord with an overhand knot to keep it secure. So this is the moment of truth. I'm worried about this guy spinning a little slow and shutting off the system. Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna bring this up to speed and we can listen for that motor. There it comes. Okay, it's getting there. And yes, this thing's really going now, this is great. But this is running a bit fast, so I'm probably gonna need to build a couple of more pulleys to slow the whole thing down. To gear this down, for each large pulley, I need to attach a small pulley. So I've got a piece of two inch PVC coupling that I've drilled out to fit over this hub. And when you're using power tools, don't forget these. All right, we've got it all set up now. With my motor running to the first pulley, then to a PVC, second pulley, PVC, and the final pulley. This is gonna reduce the speed from about 1800 RPM to 30 RPM with lots more torque. So now, let's check it out and see how it runs. Bring this guy up to speed. And lift off. This is great, check it out. It's turning it and I'm not tripping any of the sensors for torque in the VCR. The only question remaining is, how is this thing gonna feed a cat? We could have used a meat grinder, as in the original design, but we wanted to keep with the wheel motif. So I took one of these CD spindles. I've been waiting to use one of these in a project. 
cut the center off, and then mounted the base here onto the pulley. Now by cutting a hole into one of these tops, you can vary the flow of kibble into the bowl below. I'm going to tip this forward and attach it to the base. And I'm going to need a chute to catch that food. So I've got a PVC pipe that's been cut in half and mounted on a little base. I'm going to line this with the hole on the CD case and then place the bowl below. Okay, it's time to check it out and see how it works. Power this up and watch the kibble flow. Yes, it's working. There it is, a VCR powered cat feeder. Now all that's left is to test it out in the real world with a real cat. Okay, I set it up next to the cat's dish. There goes the timer. VCR is starting up, great. Here it goes, round and round. It's falling into the dish. He's going in for the kill, yes! Eat that food, kitty! Imagine all the other weird things you can build with an old VCR. In fact, send us your photos and we'll put them up on the blog. I'm John Park. See you next time in the Maker Workshop. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad.